The Hickory Ridge community near Cedar Lane and Freetown Road is where the proposed new Patuxent Commons apartment complex would be built. It would include 76 affordable housing units for seniors and families with 25% set aside for adults with disabilities. It is an intentional intergenerational model where people with disabilities live alongside seniors, senior citizens and also families to foster that mutual support. Deborah Klutz lives in the neighborhood. She's also a member of the Howard County Autism Society Housing Task Force, which has been working for years to create more living opportunities for a community that she says is vastly underserved. There just is a, a significant need and a shortage. And so it is a great worry for parents who have uh, adult children with disabilities of where will they live? What, what is the best place for them when I'm not here. What should say about us if we can even afford to house our own people? Self-advocate Matthew Plant says this isn't just a local issue and hopes Patuxent Commons can one day be used as a national model. Unfortunately, we have people, we have a waiting list as long as my arm or longer. In order for the project to move ahead, the Howard County Council needs to vote on legislation that eases some of the financial burden, paving the way for new construction, which has been limited to control growth. This will fulfill an infrastructure need that we have. County Councilwoman Christiana Rigby supports the project and hopes it will make a difference. Because otherwise people have to move out of their support networks that they have spent building for decades. This project's pretty uniquely exciting. It came together because a group of parents saw a need in our community and they created a solution. The county council will vote on the issue on Monday. If you have an opinion for or against the project, the council wants to hear from you. And you can find that information on how to reach them on our website. Here in Columbia, Jen Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.